Today's lesson is section 6.4 of your textbook. It's our lesson three. And the topic is slope intercept form. And we're dealing with straight lines still. This entire chapter we'll be dealing with linear relations. And our learning intentions. Number one is to be able to understand y equals mx plus b. That's going to be the equation we're using. And what each letter represents, the m, the b. Second, to be able to graph a line using this equation. So if you're given this equation, can you use its pieces to draw a graph. And three, to be able to write an equation given a linear graph. So if I give you a picture of a line, could you write the equation in this form? Before I start looking at some of the equation um, points and values, what I'm going to do is first make sure you understand what an equation is, because I think this is where the breakdown happens for some students. An equation is just an algebraic form of a graph. So this equation represents every single point on a graph. For example, if we have an x value, it will give us a y value. So let's look here. What happens for an x value of 1? Well, first, I guess we can look here. An x value of 1 looks like the y value is going to be 5. Well, let's try it. Let's see what an x value of 1 does. Let's put a 1 in for that x. So when x is 1, y is 5. So I got the coordinate. Coordinates are always alphabetical order, so x then y. The coordinate 1, 5 is on my line. And you can see that's what I predicted. At 1, x it hits y of 5. Let's try another one. Let's, I'll rewrite the equation first. Let's see if x is negative 2, what we get. So if x is negative 2, so I change my x into negative 2. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. So the coordinate negative 2, negative 1 should be on my line if this is the equation. So let's see if x is negative 2, y is in fact negative 1. There's my coordinate negative 2, negative 1. So again, what an equation does is an equation represents every point on a line. You plug in any value of x or any value of y and it will tell you what the other letter is. Our first learning intention involved looking at y equals mx plus b which is our slope intercept form and figuring out what all the pieces are. And so let's look at this. First of all, y and x, all that means is that we're dealing with an x y grid. We're going to have coordinates that go on the grid. So the x and y, they're just sort of placeholders for the rest of the equation right now. The important parts for graphing line are m and b. m, if you remember before, we looked at our slope formula in an earlier lesson. Well, m is slope. So m is the value of the slope. And b is our y-intercept. So b is wherever it's going to cross that y-axis. So looking at an equation, you should be able to name where the slope is, or the value of the slope, where the y-intercept is, and then from those two pieces, you should be able to graph any line. So m, or the part that's with the x, is the slope. If it's rearranged, that's OK. The part with the x is the slope. So 2 is our slope. And the y-intercept is the value by itself. Negative 3 is our y-intercept. Before I go on, maybe important to look at is it always needs to be in this form y equals mx plus b. If the y has some other things on its side, you need to isolate the y and get the y alone. Next one, y equals form. Okay, So slope intercept form, because it's given slope and intercept, slope intercept form, will also be called y equals form sometimes. So y equals negative a half x, so our slope is negative one half, and our intercept is two. Next, y equals three x. Now it looks like something's missing here. The slope, the part with the x, is three. Now the intercept is the part at the end. In this case, there is no end, so really what's happening is it's just plus zero. But we're not going to show that. The intercept is 0. All that means is our line is crossing 
at 0. Next one, slope of the part with the x is negative 4. The intercept is negative 3. Now let's just graph one of these really quickly. Okay, I had to make an edit there, so hopefully the video um, goes together. So what I was going to do is I was going to graph one of these just to show you how it works now that you have a slope and an intercept. So let's graph a line. Remember, the x and the y are just because we have an x-y equation. So this always start graphing by the intercept. The intercept, or where it touches the y-axis, is negative 3. So it's crossing the y-axis at negative 3. And my slope is 2. And go back to our slope lesson. Slope is rise over run. So it's 2 over 1. It's going up 2 over 1. So from your point. A lot of people like to start back up at the um, at 0, 0. Don't. You have to always start from your y-intercept. So it's going rise 2, run 1. So from this point, it goes up 2 over 1. It goes up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. And you will get your line. Let's look at another one. x, y. This one here. Our intercept is at 2. So our intercept is happening at 2. And our slope is negative 1 half. Remember, rise over run. Slope is rise over run. Get that in your head. So rise is going down 1. So from this point, I'm going down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. So my line looks like that. Um, I missed my dot by a little bit. but So very important you, that you can look at an equation say what is the intercept, what is the slope, sorry, intercept, slope, and then be able to turn that into an equation. Now we're going to start looking at this backwards a little bit. Let's look at a graph and try to write its equation. So, first of all, a straight line is y equals mx plus b. So to write this equation, I need to know what is the slope of my line, slope, and what is the y-intercept, or where does it touch the y-axis? It doesn't like drawing there for some reason. I don't know. So, in order to graph a line or write an equation, I need a slope and a y-intercept. So, what is the first? What's the y-intercept of this line? Where does it touch the y-axis? Well, here's my y-axis on the line it doesn't want to draw. It is crossing here, which is at two. So my y-intercept is 2. Now my slope. Slope goes, you need to find any two points. So I'll have a point here, here, here. I'm just looking for the points where it crosses through really nicely, right through the perfect corners. And slope is always rise over run. And remember, when we read left to right, if it's going left to right down, that's negative slope. So this one is going, let's see, it's going down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3. So our slope for rise over run is negative 1 third. So to write an equation, I need an intercept, 2, a slope, negative 1 third, and we just plug it in, y equals negative 1 third x plus 2, or you may also see this, instead of the 1 third, they may also have it written as negative x over 3 plus 2. These are the same thing. The x gets multiplied into the top and you have your negative x. So this is the equation to this line. Let's look at another one. I'll go from here. through that point. Okay, so um, I don't know why it's not showing up in green, having a little trouble today. So for this equation, I've got y equals mx plus b. Now for this line, again, for an equation I need a slope and an intercept. My intercept is happening at 
negative 1. Okay? Where on the y-axis is it touching this line? It's touching at negative 1. So I know I have an intercept of minus 1. Now what is my slope? To find slope I need two nice points. It crossed again at the intercept and it crossed nicely on a corner right there. So how much up and over is this one going? Well this one is going, because remember slope is rise over run, so maybe let's write that down. Rise over run. It's going from this point to this point, it's going up 3 over 1. So my slope is 3 over 1, which is 3. So my equation is y equals 3x minus 1. So this is the equation that represents this line here. Your assignment for day, today is page 362. You're doing questions 4 to 7, 11, 12, and 17 to 20. I want you to do all the letters, A, B, C, D, everyone that shows up. But good luck with this. This is a very important one for the rest of this chapter and the next. Good luck and stay classy, math class.